And we find ourselves at one of the most iconic venues in world football, the Santiago Bernabeu here on the Spanish capital, Madrid. My name's Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary on this game is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And we're focusing on, technically speaking, one of the best leagues in the world. I'm talking, of course, about La Liga. It's Real Madrid taking on Valencia. Yeah, thank you, Derek. I'm really looking forward to this. Both teams certainly capable of producing some entertaining football. Hopefully we'll get that. And here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. Rafael Varane plays alongside Nacho Fernandez in central defence. Tony Kroos starts with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And operating through the middle in attack today, Karim Benzema. the initial 11 for Valencia. Daniel Vaz plays with Gonzalo Gedge in the wide positions and so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Exciting game and prospect as Real Madrid get it underway. Mendy is with Vinicius Junior. Nacho Fernandez. And he read it well. Uros Ratchic. And Real doing well to win it back. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Crossing possibilities. Modric. And it's there for Karim Benzema. There it is. A delightful start to this match. Just what they were hoping for. Let's look at this again. We've all hit these in training. First time, bang in the back of the net. Look at the calmness of it. Technique, brilliant. A chance to revisit the goal. Well, the manager's showing signs of frustration. They need to improve if they're going to get something out of this game, Derek. And the match back in business, Real Madrid with the advantage. Daniel Vaz. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Tony Kroos. Now Casemiro. Vinicius Junior. Benzema. Will it be? And thumped away. Benzema. Tremendous block. And he did what he had to do defensively. Well, Derek, it's all about the cross. It's perfectly weighted, and he attacks the ball. That's the key to that goal. A 
Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. It's going their way, 2-0. Soler Vallejo Modric Real find themselves in a position of menace Gaia Uros Bracic now with Gabriel Paulista. Gomez. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. Well, Real Madrid possession stats are pretty good and all of their team are enjoying this performance. That's why they're winning and that's why they're one of the best teams. And Benzema at the hub of this attack. Let's see what he does next. Vinicius. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Toni Kroos. And return to Benzema. Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Uros Bracic. Soler. Gomez. Rosano Gerdes. And able to get a body in the way. And a throw in it's going to be. Of possibilities inside the box. Gonzalo Gedge. And now Carlos Soler. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Thierry Correa. Daniel Vaz and firing it to the near post the end product just wasn't there given away by Real Madrid Soler Uros Racic Gonzalo Gerdes now and he takes it on meat and drink to the Belgian Less than convincing defending. Vass and looking towards the back post. It's a corner. Well, such as the loss of an attacking player. Some days it works for you, on other days, not at all, Lee. Yeah, well, the stats don't lie. Not enough has been done by the team, and he has to take some of the blame for that. Too easy to mark, which suggests to me he needs to run around a little bit more. It's not rocket science, Derek. Now the delivery, 
Fine reaction from the keeper. Yeah, it looked like a good opportunity, to be fair, but the keeper was more than equal to it. That's a good-looking ball. Vallejo. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. And the first half is in the history books here at the Bernabeu. He's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Lee? Well, Derek, he's had a stormer, hasn't he? Scored a goal. He's certainly troubled all the defenders around there as well. I think there's more to come in the second half. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. And Real with the ball again. Tony Kroos. Modric. Benzema. Odrio Zola. Good tackle. Gaia. Now Gabriel. Manu Vallejo. Excellent defending. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Looked as though they meant business, but now they've got to try again. Casemiro. Vallejo. Into the advanced position. How can they create something? Superb save from the keeper. Well, that's what you're paying for. Defenders defend. Goalkeepers make saves like that. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. And he's fired over the corner. Casemiro on the ball Odrio Zola now he must favour the cross well read to win possession back racing forward trying to catch them out Gaia couldn't keep it on the move again clearing the lines and so it will be a corner now <laughs> substitution time it is here a descansar a la banda con el 18 Daniel Vaz Entrará en el terreno de juego con el 23, Jason. Played into the center of the box. Well, did his job defensively. Tony Kroos. Benzema. Here's Modric.
poor pass under no real pressure. Gabriel. Well, options at the back post here. Just unable to get his cross beyond the first defender. Throw-ins given. Substitution for Real Madrid. Soler. Chance to play it in. They've given it away. Tony Kroos. Rafael Varan. Mendy. On to Benzema. Real Madrid have given it away. Gomez could reduce the deficit and this time it's in well the offside flag has been raised no goal but it was close but he just went a little bit too early Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. Vinicius Junior. Casemiro failed to hang on to it. And it's a case of just five minutes left. Gaia. And Soler. Kangin Lee. Jason. Attending to his defensive chores. Vinicius Junior. Now Casemiro. It's with Vinicius Junior. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Lee. Maximiliano Gomez. Jason. Real danger. And the cross smuggled away. So there goes the final whistle. Real Madrid victorious and their fans will be heading home happily. Well, you have to say, they did deserve the win. The two-goal margin might flatter them a little, but that won't bother them. It's three points in the bag. A lot of positivity where Tony Kroos is concerned. Your assessment of his performance, Lee? Well, he played well, scored a goal. What a good performance from him.